hello hello guys you just saw us throw away all of our food that was in the fridge because we are currently without power and have been for over 24 hours now um there was a big tornado that came through i know that sounds so crazy to say that west virginia had a tornado but we did there was so much damage to not only our state west virginia but also ohio and i think kentucky as well maybe even parts of virginia i haven't really looked at the news extensively i've mostly just been looking at like our local area news it happened tuesday afternoon around like i want to say 2 p.m but i honestly can't exactly remember the time it was still daylight and it was over within a matter of like 30 minutes but in that 30 minutes it did so much damage it damaged schools libraries all of the power lines um pretty much everybody in our county is completely out of power there's actually generators running in the background that's the noise that you guys hear is people's generators running there was just so much damage all over the place um i don't want to insert pictures of people's homes out of respect for the people but there were also lots of homes damaged um, lots of mobile homes damaged uh, we got so lucky because we live in a trailer a single wide trailer and there was no damage to it at all the underpinning came out on the other side of it but that comes out all the time anyways it's not fastened properly so there was no damage to us thankfully but other people definitely it's it's really sad it's really horrible um it's just so crazy because we don't get tornadoes we don't get hurricanes we don't we don't get those things you know so it's just it's insane and obviously you can tell our state was just the infrastructure was not prepared to take on a tornado like that but it happened and the worst part is is they're saying it's not over yet there's still supposed to be another one today um, a lot less major and I don't think it's supposed to hit our exact area again, but it's just crazy. Also, I am a tiny bit sick. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice a little bit. I don't feel bad. I feel perfectly fine. So maybe it's allergies because nobody else is sick, but maybe it's not allergies. I don't know. And my dad had his surgery yesterday and I wasn't able to go to it because I was feeling this way and I wasn't sure if I was sick or not and obviously I don't want to get him sick so that was really unfortunate because I wanted to be there and I just wasn't able to be but thankfully my siblings and my aunt and everybody was there and they were able to like update me and stuff and he is doing super great like super excellent better than expected he was supposed to spend like three days in the ICU and he's already out of the ICU like that's how good he's doing he's already eating already drinking up walking like doing great they're like super super happy about um, how well he's doing I'll update you guys more when I know more but that's pretty much all I know as of right now um, they did do a quadruple bypass so it's intense it's an intense surgery but like I said he did super great it's kind of windy out here so I hope you guys can hear me okay it's just really dark inside because we don't have power so it's hard to film in there I think that's about it for our current life update at the moment and it's so crazy because I'm vlogging every single day okay like I'm a daily vlogger now apparently and I feel like I just threw so much information at you guys to still vlog every single day but that all happened yesterday. Like it was just, it was a lot. The kiddos are currently taking a nap. Well, Theo's not napping. He's in there. I don't know what he's doing. He's making all kinds of noise, having like the best time of his life. But Odessa is currently napping and Theo's having what's supposed to be quiet time and is not very quiet. <laughs> Little Leon is right here, all snuggled up, playing with this Easter basket. You like the dinosaur basket, Bobby? Yeah, <laughs> he's being funny today. He's in such a good mood today, isn't he, John? He is. To have no power, no entertainment, he seems pretty happy about it. Unlike me and John. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it just went super dark. Oh my gosh. We need to get a generator. 
I know, for real. Hearing other people's generators, too, makes me be like, oh, man. We, oh, my gosh, guys. <laughs> Last night, as it was getting super dark, and we, like, weren't ready for bed yet because it was, you know, 8.30. Like, we don't go to bed at 8.30. The kids were already asleep. They were fine. But me and John were like, what are we going to do? And we were looking for some sort of light because we, like, don't have lanterns or, like, any of that stuff. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I have this candle that my sister got me for Christmas. And I was like, we'll just light it and set it on the counter. And at least we'll have like some sort of light, you know, we're not just sitting in the dark, staring at nothing, you know? And we could not find a way to light it because we don't have a lighter. And John, <laughs> he went out into the building and he got this spark igniter um i don't know how to explain that's exactly it. what it is for yeah, a butane but torch. is that what it's called though yeah an igniter okay it's like you like squeeze it and it makes sparks and you ignite things with it right um anyways and it would not light this candle okay and john was like okay we'll get some paper like a piece of paper light the paper then light the candle nope you sat for what like 20 minutes trying to light this thing and, and it just like was not working <laughs> until i worked on a flint off of it yeah so now <laughs> our candle literally has black stuff <laughs> from the igniter trying to light it didn't work we we're obviously very unprepared for power outages and now we are making a list of everything we need to buy and when everything is back to normal in a few days we're going to stock up make sure we're prepared for a power outage because we were not at all prepared. We're obviously constantly checking updates to see like when the power is going to be back on, um, anybody else that has like any kind of damage or like what is going on basically. And it looks like they brought in a bunch of crews from all over the place to come help restore the power like quicker. They're still saying tomorrow evening at 11 p.m., which is unfortunate but i mean it's it's fine like we're gonna be fine you know um i'm mostly worried about all the people that lost things that's just it's really horrible um but uh, that's the one thing about west virginia is i feel like we have really good communities here and the people here are just like really good people and they help each other out and there's restaurants different places that are like we'll give half off discounts or here's food for free um come by and charge your electronics for free you know all that kind of stuff so that's really nice um but that's pretty much the only updates that we can figure out at the moment um but I know people are working around the clock. We see electric trucks like driving by on the main road and stuff, so it'll get there. Leon likes having no electricity. <laughs> He's like snuggled up because it's know. colder in here. It's like 66 in here because it's 50 degrees like that. Yeah. <laughs> He's like bubbles, blankets, mommy and daddy. Leon's living his best life. <laughs> In order to upload our videos and continue to be a daily vlogger, it's been a struggle, for real, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, let's just take the day off, but no, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. So we have to plug our laptop into the car to charge it, and then we have to transfer our video to our phone to upload it, and then plug our phone into the car to charge it too, because it takes like tons of power to do this stuff, right? And we're like almost out of gas. So today we have to venture out and get some gas and some food, just like fast food. Obviously I'm not gonna go in anywhere because I'm not feeling the best and I don't wanna spread any sickness or anything. But that is the plan for today. I'm stuck. Are you guys ready to go bye-bye? Yes, I'll help you. Let's go. Cool. We haven't even made it off of our street yet. And there's already like trees down on people's houses and there's power lines down i'll show you guys in a second a oh my gosh i wish yeah i wish we didn't have to go out but literally we have no gas so i can't like charge our phones or upload videos and we have nothing to eat so oh my gosh
Did you get lots of things? We did get lots of things. Okay. Theo went with John and Theo came back with a watermelon balloon. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go home after we get some food, okay? Yeah, let's get some food. Did you get a lighter and a candle? I did. Okay, good. Watermelon candle! I got a watermelon candle. That's what he just said, watermelon candle. <laughs> did you pick it out? Yeah, with your watermelon balloon? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We are on our way now to grab some fast food and then go home. And once we get home, I'll do like a little haul of the stuff John got. It's going to be interesting though because none of it requires refrigeration and none of it requires heat to cook. I don't know what he got, but he said he grabbed like cereal bars and canned stuff that's like pop top things things like that so i got pop tarts too pop tarts <laughs> pop, pop top pop tarts <laughs> so i don't know we'll see um <clears throat> i can't guarantee that it'll be daylight when we get home so it might be a very dark haul um we'll use like the light from a candle or something i don't know we'll see what happens but we're on our way home now we'll invite you to our candlelit dinner our haul. candlelight grocery haul <laughs> well we still have some daylight i want to do a quick little grocery haul just to show you guys everything that john got bread Ooh, the kids will love these fruity pebble cereal bars cheese it's I think John got the biggest box of Pop-Tarts they make. <laughs> Oatmeal cookies. This is turning into a very unhealthy grocery haul. <laughs> Tuna fish. Crackers. Oh, this was a good idea. Yoo-hoo's. But Odessa can't have like normal chocolate milk and they don't make shelf-stable almond milk. So that's a good idea, John. Oh, here we go. Here's something healthy. Bananas. Mm -hmm. Lots of little apple juices. Peanut butter. Mm. Peanuts. A candle that smells absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Peaches. Gatorade. Odessa diapers. And a big giant thing of chips. Definitely not the healthiest grocery haul. Um, definitely very different than our normal grocery hauls, but we don't have power or any way to cook food. That'll do. Are you sleepy? <laughs> How does us getting sleepy? Aren't you, baby girl? Yeah. It is almost bedtime for the kiddos. Plus, it's starting to get pretty dark in this house. I'm standing directly in front of a window. Or you guys wouldn't be able to see me at all. Yes. Okay. They were working on the power lines when we came in. I showed you guys. So hopefully it's back on tonight or tomorrow sometime, but I guess we will see. Um, are you even able to get birthday shout outs right now? No. Okay, so if it is your birthday, happy birthday. We will make it up. So sorry guys, but I guess that is pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and become a member if you would like, and we will see you tomorrow in our next daily, hopefully, Power vlog. Bye, guys.